Well, hey everyone, it's Scott again with NewPortraitBiz.com. What I wanna do today is another lighting lesson, one that's gonna actually show you how to create not just these bands, which I showed in a recent video, but also this burst of light back here. Okay, if I turn that off, you can see the banding. If I turn that off, you can see this is the original. This is the burst that I added. Now I can tone that down. I've got it at about 83%. If I want, I can have it all the way up like that, or I can turn it down like something like that. I had it at about 83, which I thought was pretty good, right about in there. And then I added the banding, which I showed in a previous video. So let's kind of build on that. Now this is a little more advanced, but still anyone can do it if you just follow along. All right, and I'm gonna to try to keep it simple, but I'm also gonna keep it moving along. So here we go. So let's go ahead and let's delete these two layers. All right, and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the lens flare. So go to filter, and then go to render, and then lens flare. Click on that. Now you're gonna get a small dialog, dialog box and you're gonna to have to get right up on the screen almost and because they don't give you a big window to look at. And you can get it close because you can move it around, but I'm gonna bring it up to where I want that light to be, okay? And the brightness on this particular picture is 103% and I got it at 105 prime, okay? Now you can play around with these settings and get different ones. These have more of an orangey looks to them, but I'm gonna go with the 105. I like that one. And then just click okay. All right, now you can see I got a pretty good burst there. All right, now you would think that that's what you would wanna do. You don't, because then you can't really move it around, okay, because now it's on that picture. So now let's just go back. And the reason why I did this is because I want it to go in that same exact location. All right, so just follow along. So I'm gonna step back, and then I'm gonna create a new layer. So layer, new, and then what I'm going to do, you can name it if you want to, I'm not going to. Then what you wanna do is fill that with gray, preferably like a 50% gray. So just click it up into here, okay, after you go down into your foreground color, and you can just type in here if you want 50, that's what I did, and then and then uh, you can just go ahead and drop with the paint bucket on that particular uh, picture, okay? And now you're gonna have a layer up here. Now what we wanna do is go back to filter, and then apply the lens flare again, and what it'll do is it'll go to where it was last, and then we have it there, okay? Now what we can do, see this is the cool thing, see these little sunspots? If we wanna get rid of these, we can very easily. But the other cool thing is, is now we have this on its own layer, and then we can just go here to the uh, layer mode, and then go to hard light. And then now you can see, you can't see that gray, all you see is the white. And then yes, you can still see some of those sunspots, which they don't look bad, so I'm not gonna worry about them. But I could erase them if I wanted to. All right, now I, actually I'll show you how I can do that. You can see one down here, I believe right on the uh, the box. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you. So what I'm gonna do is go down here and create a layer mask. Just click on that. Then what you're gonna wanna do is go to your eraser tool and then come on your picture and now you can erase that, just like that. So that's the cool thing about it. You can see up here it turned black. You wanna make sure that your foreground is white and your background is black when doing that. White takes away, black adds, okay? All right, so that's that. Now, the other thing we can do now with this is we can take the opacity and we can dial this down. Now, there's no real science to this. Just do it to your liking. If you want it less, you can do that, or you can bring it up to like I had it, like at about 83%. That's where I'm gonna keep it. So that may be good enough for you. You may say, you know what, that's perfect, I'm good. I got a little bit of backlighting now, we're good, all right? Well, I wanna add some of those rays of light like I did before in another video. So I'm gonna take you through that quick little lesson. I'm going to move along a little bit. And if you want to watch that one, I'll leave a link in the video or in the description box below, but I'm going to kind of go through this one quickly. All right. So what you want to do first then is you want to go up here and you want to create a new fill layer. So go to new fill layer right here, layer, new fill layer, and then gradient. All right. And now you can title this if you want. I'm not going to, so we can save time, go to mode and then go to soft light and then click. Okay. All right. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna change this to where it says linear to angle, all right? And then from there, we wanna go ahead and click on where it says gradient in here, click on that. And then what it's gonna do is pop up this dialog box, all right? So now, we wanna go to where it says gradient type, solid, and go to noise, okay? And now look what happens. It makes it look all weird. Okay, see that? We don't like that, we don't want that, but just follow along here. All right, so what we wanna do is we wanna change that or desaturate that. So what we're gonna do is go to where it says RGB color mode, we're gonna go HSB, and then what we're gonna do is take that slider and bring it all the way down. And now you can see we have where it's just black and white more or less, all right? But now what we wanna do, I'm just sliding this out of the way so you can see, let me click okay. Um, then what you wanna do is you wanna take this and you wanna move it into position, 
to where we want it. All right. Now you can see this is pretty good, actually, the direction of light that it is, you know, that's coming down from. But I want to just show you how this works. So I'm going to randomize it a little bit or show you the next step if you didn't like the way that that looked 100%. So just click on gradient and then you're going to see down here where it says randomize. We're going to click on that and you're going to see different, uh, different forms of this, of the way that the rays are. It's going to mix them up. Okay. So now that one looks pretty good. So let's go with that one. So click OK. All right. And now if for some reason you didn't like the way that this was falling on her face or maybe there was too much on her face or it was streaky, um, it's not a problem. We can fix that. So let's just click OK. Go over here and click on this part of the gradient fill, OK, which is basically the mask. You want to make sure that your foreground and your background color is set to uh, white and then black. Go to your eraser tool and then you can come right on here and you can erase anything that's on the child or your subject. Now, if I turn that off, you can see what we've done there. Now, if you want that to be a little more pronounced, just duplicate the layer. Layer, duplicate layer, boom. And now we've got more of that rays coming down through. And, uh, and then you can just play around with that. So that's pretty much how you do that. I already showed that in another lesson. Let me turn that off again so we have a little more subtle. I like that right there. But uh, I just wanted to show you how we can, again, create that blast of light back there to give it a little bit more of a direction and then add that ray technique in there as well. So that is going to wrap up this lesson for you. Once again, my name is Scott with newportraitbiz.com. If you'd like to receive more lessons like this, more advice, tips, all of that good stuff, you're going to want to head over to newportraitbiz.com. This particular digital creation, which is a digital background and a digital prop, came from our Digital Creations Club, which can be found at newportraitbiz.com forward slash club. And this one is called Flower Box Gardens. And uh, this is just one of many that we offer inside of the club. But these are techniques that I also teach inside the club. And uh, this is uh, something, again, that's super simple to use. And uh, you can use it on any type of picture, whether it's digital backgrounds, props, or just regular portraits that you shot outside. So that's it. That's going to wrap it up. If you have any questions, leave them below in the description box. If you're on YouTube, you can go ahead and subscribe and get all of our updates there as well. And uh, once again, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.